Hello everyone, I'm bringing you an unboxing video today. We're actually having a look at the contents of two packages which have arrived recently, both on the same day as it happens, much to my surprise. I think this can be best described as a collection of Commonwealth camouflage, and that's what we're going to have a look at now. So here we are. Um, fortunately, a little bit late this video. I had hoped to upload this on Monday, but here we are. At least it's going out this week. What we have here uh, is an, an individual item sent to me by Crispian Barlow, who was involved in anti-poacher operations in South Africa. And he was digging through his old kit the other day. He's been in contact with me previously on uh, via email, talking about kit and so forth. And he's very kindly dug this out and sent it over to me as a very generous gift. So this is a rather rare bit of kit. Just move the box out of the way now. This is a Canadian Trials DPM shirt coat. Now these are quite rare. It's made to the Canadian combat pattern. Uh, I think the Mark II version, if I remember correctly, of the shirt coat, and made in a DPM print very similar to British DPM, as you can see. Uh, it has the, the pockets, obviously, for single magazines on the chest. I believe it has the loops for the magazines, or would originally have had loops for magazines in the lower pockets as well. I uh, need to look into more detail of this, but obviously this will be coming up in a future video in more detail going forward. It is essentially the Canadian combat uniform, but made in DPM. And there were trousers as well, of course, I'd be quite interested to find a pair of the trousers as well uh, but this is an exceptionally generous gift from Crispian. they're not particularly uh, common to find these and as I say I have been looking and haven't had a huge amount of luck so to have this gifted to me I mean amazing exceptionally generous and a wonderful addition to the collection of Canadian combat uniform a really nice item certainly seen some use a little bit faded but a really nice item and just I say a fantastic bit of kit in that story of Canadian uh, combat uniform. So that's the, the first uh, gift which arrived. The other package which arrived, which is rather large, uh, I'm not going to bring the whole thing into shot, I don't think, actually, but this is from Glenn Matthews in Australia, uh, and he sent me a huge collection of Australian uh, combat clothing, relatively modern combat clothing, outside of my sort of more general area of collecting, but nevertheless very interesting and very nice to have. Uh, I do like Australian uh, combat uniform, the Australian disruptive pattern uh, camouflage. And an interesting item we have here, first of all, is an Australian parachuter smock. And you can see here, it has certain features carried across from the British parachuter smock, features which uh, initially started with the Denison smock. You have the poppers here, of course, for the tail. I think the tail, the tail been removed from this. It wasn't flopping around, so not pinned up at the back, as you can see there. There would have been a tail that's been cut out of this. A really nice item, uh, not faded at all really. I mean, it has seen some use, obviously it does appear to have been issued, uh, but it is a, a lovely item and that's fantastic. I say really generous of, uh, of Glenn to send all these bits and pieces over. Uh, let's have a look in here. We have oh, some interesting Australian desert camouflage uniform. Now this is the desert version of the Australian disruptive pattern camouflage, as you can see here. Uh, which takes this sort of slightly purpley colour, grey, brown and the tan to make up the desert camouflage combat trousers. So made to basically the standard Australian combat trouser pattern, but in uh, this uh, desert uh, version of their deep disruptive pattern uh, material. You can see that there. Uh, trousers and the shirt as well. Put this up here. Have a look. A look at the label up and the collar as well. Obviously there will be potentially videos looking at these going forward. Something I'll have to research, it's not an area I'm particularly familiar with, this uh, sort of post-1990, uh, post-early 90s Australian uh, uniform. So brilliant to have though and a nice example. I don't have any of the desert, the Australian desert camouflage already, so it's nice to add some of that to the collection. Fantastic. We have a pair of boots here as well, a pair of desert boots which don't seem to have seen much use. A little bit of wear on the tread, but not much. These are a really nice pair of boots. I'm not sure if they're in my size, but they're a nice pair of boots nonetheless for the collection. Um, any labels or anything inside there. A bit of detail on the, the, the tread here. You can see we've got the broad arrow there, the Mondo Point sizing. Uh, Australian desert boots there. Rather a nice uh, pair of boots, as I say. Have an undershirt. This here, again, have a look at the label, basically a tan t-shirt. Unfortunately, the label's completely washed out. I say tan, 
sort of a caramel brown color. You can see that. Wear under the, the shirt. We have some more of the standard Australian camp disruptive pattern camouflage here. Um, some unissued clothing, by the look of it. It still has a manufacturer's tab. These look to be made to the issue pattern, but possibly a commercial item, or this is just how they're, they're initially delivered from the manufacturer. Put that label inside there. There we go. So we do have the, the details there, data manufacturer and so forth. Have the shirt to go with here, I think. Again, with the, the tag in there. So we have an example of the shirt there and the tag again in the collar there. Again, a 2017 date on there. Close to one side and keep digging. So I have some waterproof or, or padded cold weather clothing here, yeah, trousers. So these are both waterproof, with a waterproof or a nylon material, and then they have a sort of a, a thin fleece lining to them as well. And we have the manufacturer's label there again, 2012 these. Velcro tabs at the bottom there, zip pockets on the legs, as you can see there. Close to one side as well. And I think the, the jacket to go with those is here as well. So this again has the that black fleece lining inside, Velcro tabs at the wrist there, elbow reinforcement, Velcro for attaching insignia there, pockets on the arms. The, the label inside the, the collar here, 2009, so a little bit earlier that. Nice bit of kit. Another few bits and pieces here, just pull this out. So we have a effectively a Australian version of the, the Norgi uh, shirt. It's a little bit thinner than the, uh, the ones you find over here, the British, British Army issue ones and the the original ones, but uh, essentially a, a Norgi shirt uh, in this uh, tan colour, this dark tan colour. And then, oh, this is interesting, sort of a liner, smock liner, I'm not entirely sure on this, but it's, so we have a rank tab at the front there, so you can wear this as an outer garment. Have a look at the details here, see if we can find a label in this. But anyway, it's a, it's a fleece, a, a faux sort of um, man-made material but a fleece uh, sort of liner I would say for combat uh, clothing again I'm not familiar with this kit so I'll have to do some research very kind of Glenn send it over to me it's uh, expand my knowledge of Australian kit beyond sort of the, the time period where I've uh, sort of decided to cut off previously so in any label down in there unfortunately oh no here we go here it is though these often don't give you a an idea so oh it's a walkabout there we go uh, so yes I have heard of these before but uh, didn't immediately uh, identify it so there it is Australian walkabout lovely uh, may see some use obviously not going to wear it to death but uh, it's a nice thing that's very good for uh, for cold nights I'm sure so uh, excellent there we are so that's everything that's come from both uh, Crispian and Glenn thank you both very much indeed for sending these bits and pieces over they happen to arrive on the same day so a big influx of bits and pieces to the collection all in one go and obviously hence the combined unboxing videos so as i say both of you thank you very much indeed very generous of you to both gift these items and obviously ship them over to me and uh, as i say there'll be videos looking at these bits and pieces going forward at some point in the future no doubt that's everything that's uh, everything that's arrived so i do hope you found it interesting looking at this if you have found it interesting and you'd like to see more of this sort of thing please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and whether you're newly subscribing or you've previously subscribed, please do make sure you hit the little bell, the notification button down below, which of course alerts you when I upload future videos. If you really like my uploads and you'd like to support the channel, you can. Both Patreon and PayPal are linked down below. And a huge thank you as always to everybody who supports the channel using those two methods. It really is greatly appreciated. And I want to say a big thank you to all of you. Thank you very much indeed. If you'd like to follow the channel on social media, you can. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter are all linked down below. And if you'd like to get in touch but you don't really use social media, there is of course an email address as well. That's everything for this video, so until next time, bye for now.